This is a reference video on the JDD X2 RS disassembly, cleaning, modifying, and reassembly. These are the tools that you're going to need to take apart the fader. We have one Phillips screwdriver and one JDD X2 RS. First thing you want to do is take off two screws off the mounting plate. Once the mounting plate is off, set that off to the side. Second thing you're going to do is flip the unit over, hold between middle finger or index finger and thumb to go ahead and remove. Make sure you hold firmly on the blocks and go ahead and remove the two bottom M3 button head screws. Once those screws are removed, you will be now exposed to the bottom of the fader board and the fader board itself. The fader board set off to the side, and of course, this here could be taken apart in three or four different pieces. So we have one piece, which is a fader block one, and we have fader block two, o ring, o ring, and of course, we have the slider with the two rails rail one, rail two. Now set those off to the side. To clean the rails, you're just going to need uh, just a simple cloth. Okay, so you get a simple cloth, rub down the rails, so they're nice and clean, free of any dirt or debris, like so. Okay, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and take the board. If you need to clean the board for whatever reason, the board itself has the contacts. These contacts do eventually uh, get a little wear on them due to the sliding back and forth and so on and so forth. So we just clean off anything on there just by simply rubbing a terry cloth towel or a very light towel on the contacts. If you need a little additional uh, solvent or anything like that, we recommend it. a little bit of isopropanol alcohol or you can use deox at your choice. So if you want to, you can go ahead and just put a little bit of what we call it, alcohol on there. Get the board so it's nice and clean, like so. Take a nice dry side of the towel, wipe it off and kind of polish it out. Okay, now the board is clean. Now to reassemble the fader, it's pretty much the same thing as it was before. On the fader, you will notice that there are two different style holes on the slider. You have a round hole, a round hole, and a square hole. Those are very crucial on how the fader goes back together. So what we're going to do is take a rail, put it through the round hole, put a rail through the square hole. We're going to now apply the O-rings to the rail. Now the O-rings go on the side with the round hole on the slider. Okay, so the O-rings go on to that. Now you might have questions, the reason why there's extra O-rings in your JDT X2 RS kit. Um, those extra O-rings are to add an additional O-ring to the side that you don't want to cut. So if you want to cut on a single side, you can, or not, good. So we have a factory set up to cut on both sides. You add the O-ring to the side of the rail that you don't want to cut. Okay, we want to put it back together as factory. So you'll notice that there are dimples or a small indentation on the bottom of the block. Okay, that indentation is an identifier. That dot goes toward the fingers on the bottom of the slider. So the dots go to the bottom of this. So we slide those back onto there like so. Okay, once that part is done, we're gonna go ahead and attach now the board back on to the fader. Now what we want to do is make sure that we put it on correctly because if it's off it won't work correctly and if it's correct it will. So the plug side where the plugs are at, this side here with the plug, goes on the same side with the o-rings. So we put the o-rings back on here or the, the, the fader board back on to the thing. Make sure the plug is on the same side as the o-rings. Take your button head M3 screws like so. Go ahead and start one. Okay, grab your second one. And 
go ahead and start the second one. Like so. Now don't don't tighten these. Make make sure that they're loose. Okay. Once that part's together, go ahead and now take your top ring, which is your mounting plate. I normally put the side with the notches on the same side as the fader plug. So the notches go on the same side as the plug. So again, your M3 countersink screws go on one. Now what we do is make those very lightly snug. Make sure that the side is completely flush. The block is nice and square with the top plate. Once it's nice and square and everything, go ahead and snug down the top screw. Same side with this one. Go ahead and make sure they're flush and snug down. Now the bottom screws should be still loose. If not, loosen them just a little bit. Okay. Make sure the board is centered into the you know, feel maybe a little bit of play. Just make sure it's centered in between. Now go ahead and snug down the bottom screws. Okay, now your fader is taken apart, reassembled, put back together, nice and smooth. Now if you need to add a lubricant, uh, the lubricant we normally uh, recommend, the very thin oil, uh, a gun oil, machine oil, which would be for sewing machine or other type of things. We use this actual gun lubricant. Uh, it's called Slip. 2000. It's a silicon base. You can get it at most gun stores. You can buy it online. Uh, it comes in a large bottle, but you only need just a little bit. So what we do is just put a drip, drop on each rail. Once that's done, slide back and forth. Clean as can be. So that's how to go ahead and take apart your JDD X2RS. Add any additional O-rings to stop the cut on each side. Um, the oval rings that do come in this are a one millimeter factory, but if you need to add the 1.5 millimeter, you can. You can try it to sharpen the cut or to make it stop uh, the cut on either side. It's up to you. It's your choice. Just be very careful with the contact fingers that you don't bend them or break them or anything of the sort, and you will have a very uh, pleasant experience, we hope, with the JDD X2Rs. 